Hey sixth grade, today's video is your clapping and counting for your red belt. It measures 37 to 52. In the email that I'm sending you today, I am including a picture of all of the counts written incorrectly for measures 37 to 52. Just in case you're looking at this without the email, feel free to pause this video and take a really good close look at your rhythm. Is it all on the screen? There it is. Okay. And it might look backwards actually, now that I'm staring at this. And interestingly enough, I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> so let's go four measures at a time. This is measures 37 to 40. It's the first line on that page. Here we go. One and two and three and four. One and two and three, four and one. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that line's not super complicated. Just make sure you're clapping once for every note. Measures 41 through 44 is next, the second line. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the tricky, tricky thing about this line is that all of your rests are eighth rests, but what's really great is there's only eighth notes in this line. So eighth notes and eighth rests each get half a count. And so when you're doing this, everything should sound really even and all the same. Okay, next line, 45 through 48. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. In my opinion, this line might be the trickiest because you've got a lot of your eighth rests on the beat or on the number part of the beat instead of on the ands. So make sure you're really careful and you write in your counts really carefully in this section. If you write in your counts and you put parentheses around your rests, it's going to make it visually so much easier so that you can complete this in a more easy way. Okay, measures 49 through 52. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So similar to the previous line, everything is an eighth note or an eighth rest. So it should be really even. You just have to be careful with which parts are rests versus notes. So writing in the counts is gonna be crucial to this section. If you look at measure 51, you've got two eighth rests in that measure in a row. So you can think of it as a quarter rest, but it's awkward if it were a quarter rest because it's the and of two plus beat three. So it's not a count um, all on its own. It's not like two and or three and, it's and three. So it's part of one count and part of another put together. I'm gonna clap and count measure 51 for you again. Here we go. One and two and three and four and. So when you're counting that, make sure you're really careful. Now, when you submit this video, feel free to submit it one line at a time or maybe two lines at a time. It's really long, so it might be a little frustrating if you were to try to send all four lines together. Here's another tip. If I were you, if I was clapping and counting this and I made a little mistake, I would just say, all right, I'm gonna start at measure 47, ready, go, and just keep going through it. I'm not gonna not pass you because you make one little mistake as long as you pick up the pieces and you keep going. So if you need anything or you have any questions, let me know for the rhythm. I am happy to help you. Good luck. Feel free to do it as slow as you need. Feel free to do it in four measure chunks and have fun. Okay, see ya.